Are y'all ready to get this started? Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Here we go. Sit your ass down and get ready for the next episode of the Urban Green Room. The Urban Green Room. With your host, my girl A.A. and that dude D. Lewis. everyone what's up world welcome back to another episode of the urban green room podcast i'm your girl aa i'm your nigga d lewis and as always we are about to keep this conversation popping it's about to get live up in this bitch uh because we got the crew so if you don't know who they are, take a good look at these lovely people who are joining us for the conversation. We got these girl. motherfuckers here. I can't stand West Coast niggas. I was I was trying to get my sexiness on, man. He's talking about sex. No, 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 no. My bad. I didn't mean to bust your flow, ma, but I couldn't with these two. So yeah. and I was trying we not to got, laugh. I was trying my best not to laugh. It's too late. It's too late. We got my girl, author Vivian Blue in the house. Viv. And my, uh, my girl, um, the one, the only, the Pinterest herself, Nadine Fry. Thank you mm -hmm. for having me. Hey. What's up, Nadine? <laughs> my baby girl who just had a baby girl because she like my sister. My girl, Margo, author Margo is in the house. What Let's up, go. Margo? Welcome back, girl. Yes, Bye. welcome back from maternity Bye. leave. Welcome back. Thank you, and uh friend of the uh podcast, the one, the only Walter Sliz Jennings is back. What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all well. My Absolutely. man, my mellow. <laughs> and our so cool. favorite couple, Callie D and Ray from California are back in the house with us, everyone. <laughs> and we about to get the conversation going. So thanks to Miss Nadine Fry. Um, oh, she gonna put her ass out there. Yeah, put her <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just like throw under the bus real quick. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm throwing you under. Uh, on her IG page, she had a post that said, "Do you use sex toys in a relationship?" So I got to thinking, huh? I wonder if people do. I think this is a good conversation, and that we need to talk about it. So. With the sex industry being a multi-billion dollar industry, who isn't using sex toys should be my question. So I got a question for everybody. What's your favorite sex toy? Let's get the conversation going. We're gonna, start with that. We're gonna start with that one. <laughs> I guess so. Shit. I mean, she went all the way. She went well, over the fucking way. Well, all God damn, all I feel uncomfortable. All in people do. <laughs> well, I'm going um, to go first. I should have went and got my box. Okay, so. Let's get to the first one. We need everybody okay, to slow so down so I can two. hear you. Can you hear me? There is this one toy called. You ain't running this show. Are you <laughs> is, 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 I'm scared. Once you have the rose, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. We don't need to okay. have no more discussion because the rose is the shit. The rose. I don't. I'm not okay, going to know. I don't know what that one is. I don't know what that one is. But what's, what's the rose? Let me go get the box. Let me go get the box, baby. Go get the box. Get the box. I need a visual. I need is a she visual. getting the dick in the box? Let me is get she the getting the dick in the box? Getting the dicks. Oh, she Plural. Get the box. The, all you. the dicks. I'm in the box. You, you said the rose my... and the box, right? No, a box. <laughs> I'm going to share, share what my favorite is. You put the rose is. in the box. I'm taking notes. I'm going to share what my favorite sex Look toy is. Look at Marco is. face. You, you okay, Marco? You okay, Marco? No, seriously. Yeah, my yeah, yeah, my notes. favorite <laughs> sex toy is any... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got the, the box. box. Okay. Adore me. Oh, the box is definitely box. making an appearance. Lord, is we all going to have to go get our box? <laughs> What's that? Oh, Why, oh, oh, we all got to go get our boxes now. Ooh, no, that oh, look, that's that's that looks like that mine. thing that you okay. get there. Okay, I, 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 oh, I oh, know. Amazon. Now, 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 now that I Reading, see it. If you would sit and read the, the, the um, reviews that people have left about this thing, it is commuting. 
It is, is pure it? comedy. Like Does these it suck ladies, on the clip? they going crazy. Oh my god! But it's the okay. Shit. So the rose is the shit. My taste have kind of evolved over the years. So oh, like so back, way back when I used to like the bullet or whatever. So then they have like a mini wine massager. But right now in my life, my favorite one is called like a um a G spot tickler. I know what you're talking about. Is it the one with, like with the bird on it? Huh? Tickler. Tickle tickle. Yeah, Her mic is off. Okay. No, <laughs> yes. So it's one that it's like it has like a small like insertion, but it has like vibration in three pr- three places. Yeah, Hold on. <laughs> Her son was the one. It got room. what? Oh, it's hilarious! It's like the sun finding so this thing for you. Know what I'm saying? Huh? Oh my God, sis. Hey, Vivian, Vivian. <laughs> Vivian, that that rose thing of yours looked like that thing you used to get the 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 crust off your heels. Man, that, hey, them motherfuckers. Maybe should have. You know that pan yeah, and they be bro. selling at CVS. I know what you're talking we about. That thing, it goes, uh, the thing, yes, but their rose go. We's not even. Yes, bro. The rose. Look, it's look it up on Amazon. So, like, so this hold one, on, so hold on. I ain't got no need for that motherfucker. So it's this it's one it's has a uh, particular, so it has That's a small. Hold on, Viv. Hold, 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 hold on. So it has like an insertion point with like a middle piece that like vibrates against your G spot. And then it has like this suction cup on the end. I don't need to be as graphic or whatever, but the suction cup actually has a tongue inside. I've seen it on Amazon. Jesus, that Mary and Joseph. <laughs> Which that one, is one is that? Now that God one, is, if, if you want to die very fast, <laughs> this is the one that you you <laughs> die very fast. Very fast. It's like it's like it's almost like the thing short circuits your brain. It's like one minute. It's like because you have to turn the um, you have to turn it on before you insert or do whatever, right? So you got one thing vibrating one place. I never use the middle setting because I'm scared because I feel like I'm really going to die. So <laughs> I, I use the middle She's going to have a heart attack. I, I, I can't, like, I'm, like, I talk a lot of shit, but, like, I ain't really ready for all of that. Like, I can't even get down like that. So what I do is... um so it's like that suction cup is like, I don't know, this is like the most innovative thing concerning sex toys. Now in my home or whatever, you know, my husband, he would be really, um, he's okay with things. He's not okay with dicks. You get what I'm saying? Like he's not okay with things that insert, you get what I'm saying? But like things that get certain type of reactions, like we can kind of play around with, you know, just depends on the night, you know, but that particular one, I've only used solo. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you if you need if you need a quick nap, <laughs> if, if you really like stress for a moment <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> you know, what my friend said about the rose. <laughs> one Listen, bit of quit up. Said, I this. I called this to know. I called myself playing in the middle of the day, right? I'm like, oh shoot, you know, like it's the day the kids don't got school, the house quiet. They, you know, like they doing their thing. I said, let me lock my door. Let me really see because I just got them or whatever. And I was like, I'm going to mm-hmm. break from work. Let me go ahead <laughs> and see what this thing really do. I don't know what happened between the time that I started and uh, when the, the sun was down. <laughs> when I woke up. <laughs> you missed all of work? Oh my God. Oh, you you missed life. Life just passed you by. <laughs> I, I was so confused. Because, listen, it's like when it's on the setting, right? Mind you, I struggle trying to, like, unlatch the shit from my <laughs> So... I didn't know last thing going across the room. And you can't get it off. It's like instant <laughs> melting happened, and I was knocked out. I don't know what happened. I wasn't aware what was. 
Oh my I God. literally woke up to my kid telling me <laughs> that it was time to eat. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> I looked at my platform. I had been logged out for like four hours and 47 minutes. I will never do it again. <laughs> it's like at bedtime, that's it. You're done. <laughs> like, me done with it. Wow. But I feel oh. like in relationships, it's about <laughs> comfortability because some men don't like things that insert you get what I'm saying because they feel like that's the place that they all you know like that only they should be or whatever but um I feel like however you decide you know define it you know me I really like to watch you know what I mean masturbation you know like so however we can spice that up that's always a good time always a good time yeah. When you when you when you blacked out when you blacked out, Nadine, <laughs> and I came back because um, I'm yet here again. <laughs> who, who turned it off? <laughs> um, so listen, right? Now. I I I, to, I just explained. I He's had trouble. I like. I don't know. I think it may have died. All I know is <laughs> one, you got that look on your face. Because <laughs> once I because once. <laughs> <laughs> I unlatched it. I knew I, I I I remember tossing it. Like I was like, oh, this shit is like witchcraftery. Like I don't know what that was. And <laughs> listen, it was something, it was definitely double man. Like, I don't know. That right there is not for the faint of heart because oh like it's not for the faint of heart because oh. it's like literally when I thought back on it, all I kept thinking was, what the fuck? Like, am I experiencing? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like my middle was quaking, like my brain was like shirt sick. I don't know what was happening. I said, wait a second, but it's like it feels so good to stop it, but then it's like once you bust, and then it's like it's still going. You like, oh shit, like now we're entering the danger zone. Like now <laughs> we're like playing, <laughs> now we're playing with death. And I don't I didn't like it too much. I didn't like it. But it did prompt my post. Like, um, so y'all do this, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> listen, I don't even think I shared that like with my husband, because he was just like, you know, he gonna know you now. Got, you know, yeah, now. You got a few so days he gonna, to listen, now, but I don't know. I was just like, I didn't even know how to describe it. So I don't know. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I just know that that was an amazing, that was an amazing time or whatever. <laughs> and it's like my new favorite. Like, I feel like if a woman has never tried it, like you should definitely try it like three times. That's how and the see, Yeah. See, listen, I would like to do something because me, I'm not really like an inserter. I don't really like that or whatever. But the way that it's built is kind of built in like a hook or whatever. So it's like it's meant for the dual triple. I mean, maybe triple because I don't know. I ain't pressed the middle button. But you know but they it's, have those that you can um, control it with their phone. Like you can send a link to someone and they can. They got Bluetooth on the motherfucker. Oh, yes. yes, melodious. Yes. Yes. Guys, yes. Yeah. You oh, can be at the crib and. And, and, and shock your wife right in the middle of her presentation. Oh, that don't mean, matter. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, where they're that, at. That would, that would be link. amazing. If, that, if you send them the link, yes. <laughs> that is her and that would be amazing. It's made along, with, it's made along you know, with the style that you're talking about, Nadine. Hmm? Yeah. Said that I said it's amazing. made along the style of what you're talking about. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jam it's them motherfuckers all you, up. Ain't right nobody in the middle about work to day. melt me in the middle. I'm telling you right now. You can take it off. Let's get it for the bad jet. You can take it off. See, you can be like, you can get a grab. Be in the middle of traffic. You can take it off. Yeah, that sounds dangerous. I don't I don't think I should do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds dangerous. To, like play like yeah, like no, because <laughs> somebody who who is very funny, like I can just see them going through the lunch to try to make you egg them <laughs> in the middle. Oh, they got that. Oh, I'm about to look that up. Yeah, they definitely what, have what, it. So, yeah, what is this I, thing called? What what is it called? I don't know. I don't know. I, I I'm asking I Nadine. See the one that got the motherfucker. <laughs> 
I read it oh. in a book before. Maybe. What's it called? Mm. I don't know, motherfucker. The tickler? <laughs> no. The Hold juice, on, let me look it by up. Tickler. <clears throat> let me look it up. Uh, yeah, I'm looking it up. Uh, this motherfucker. I'm already <laughs> on the site. <laughs> you already <laughs> I am. So listen, listen. Listen, everyone. So there is a black owned uh sex toy uh online store. It's called Discreet. D Y S Q R E E T. Mark on to grab their phone. Y S Q R E E T. So as we're talking, feel free to shop and purchase gifts, black owned, black owned business. Um yeah, there's some stuff on here. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> build your cart, find whatever the hell Nadine was talking about. Get your <laughs> well, I, can send you, I can send you the Amazon link for it. Can you spell it do, again? Do, for it do that, it do whatever. But uh, hold as, on. As I got you start um, talking I, and about believe it or not, toys. I, believe it or not, I get got it. it for free. Margo need the, the spelling of that again. Margo D. Y S Q R E E T. And I'm going to put it in the episode when it airs for anybody who needs to just click and watch the, the video. So there we go. Lilo. Uh, so it's called Lilo, your app controlled sex toy. What is it called? Lilo. 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 Hmm. Like Lilo Thomas? That sound like some shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I tell y'all my favorite sex toy. What? Oh, Lahoy. <laughs> so that granny blow up down that I posted on my page. <laughs> you damn lie. <laughs> we fighting. It's beef on sight when I see you. <laughs> so, so what? As a man, what's your favorite sex toy? I like, I like the, uh, I, I'm kind of kinky. I like, I like the bondage type shit. So they got mm-hmm. this, they got this bar and you put the girl's legs in these little stirrups type things. And, I know you know, just, <laughs> yeah, just spread them and then she can hold on and then I can hold on. And, and, and that's my, that's my favorite. Mm. Right. Is. The swing? No, the the huh? Is it the one? Is it the one that when she, if she moves around, if she moves around a certain way, she'll get locked and she can't move? Right. That's a different category. Yeah. That's the Rick. <laughs> that's the Rick Jones. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from the listen, D. I'm from the same hood as Rick James. So yeah, nigga, yeah, that's exactly, exactly what it is. Shit out, yes. <laughs> Yes. That's that total yeah, dominant bullshit. That's that Elsie Purdy oh shit right there. Gosh. Why you call, why you call it bullshit? <laughs> because now you have to totally trust a motherfucker to let well, right. them do you, you, you. I'm serious because people You're have right. gotten fucked or up. just be nasty as fuck. Or, 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 like, or be into it. You can you straight really get trust them you just into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can do it accidentally too. But yeah. um yeah. <laughs> I'm on <laughs> No, not tie, not tie them up, but but jam them up. I know what you're saying. You know, any type of bondage, you have to have a certain trust in the person that you're doing it with. It's all about trust. That's like a total Utter, complete. Well, total that's a different Total. That's a different podcast. It's I'm just telling you yes, what the fuck I like. And it's going down. <laughs> Tell you what I like. Look at this nigga. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Right? It's going down. <laughs> it's so right that nigga going to put his mask on and everything. Us zipping and shit. Later. <laughs> Oh, that is cool. I got friends who, who into that scene. Boo. Look at Melodious. Look at Melodious. It goes down. The leather, the chains. Yes. If yes. You locking a bitch up with some shit. Nigga, don't play. Don't look at me like, oh, am I telling your business? I'm sorry. No, you're not. I mean, <laughs> it's hand in hand. Yes. One hand, watch the other both watch the face. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a bunch of friends on all <sighs> kinds of things. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Got the tights with the crosses on them and all that shit. And See? Big ass boots. You got a cape. Goes down. No, I ain't got no cape. I ain't, I ain't got no cape. The cape is too far. Yeah. Who the fuck? Uh, the, 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 the legs with the crosses the and shit. Now. You got a cape, nigga? Shit. All right, so <laughs> I ain't mad at you, she nigga. The cape, nigga. I ain't know this you shit, though. I'm the learning some shit. You got a cape, you like a grandmaster? Well, you do it there like this. He asked, was he a grandmaster? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> This nigga oh, count Dracula. That was in chance. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you got a cake. No, I ain't got no cake. I ain't got no cake. I ain't got to that level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't passed that uh-huh. test yet. <laughs> so, Raynisha and, and uh-huh. Callie D, D mm. what what do you guys like? You guys are a married couple. What do you, what do you bring into the bed? I think we're going to have two different... Um, <laughs> Two different because we like different stuff. We're different people. Sure. I personally, to use like on him, I like the ropes that go under the bed. So it's like it'll go underneath the bed and mm-hmm. it'll come up instead of like a, um, you can have like the cuffs that go underneath your bed, but I like the rope and I like to like tie his arms and legs. Oh, apart. it's extra spicy. And and it can't move. Move. <laughs> I don't like him to use it on me, though. You're not like to be restrained, but you like to be restrained. I ain't going nowhere. (laughs) You like to dominate, but don't like to be dominated. Now who the grandmaster? (laughs) 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 Talking about me, (laughs) bro. She got ropes that she put on. I'll be reenacting. Y'all be reenacting. 1700 slavery scenes and shit. <laughs> 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 Hell no. You were 13 years a slave. Right. You, you, ain't, you ain't take Miss Daisy to the milk store today. I, I do whatever you need me to do, Miss. I do anything you need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. He's a great actor, so it just falls right in. Beat your ass over there. Beat his ass over there. Beating his ass over there. Well, no, I never do anything to him that I will have to pay for when we go back to reality. Right. I'll right. touch him. He's gonna remember right. that shit. He ain't gonna be like, he ain't gonna give me no pass. So is it all about respect? <laughs> like, it's all about respect and understand. I am not a slave. You ain't gonna treat me all the way you want. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you ain't gonna put them whitlers in a whip so, me, goddammit. This is 2020. What's yours? <laughs> I enjoy the harness. So there's a harness that you're able to put her in doggy style and you're able to grip around her waist and you can thrust into it. So like you can. She can get all the inches she needs, right? I saw uh, I'm gonna need, need, need you to go ahead and share an that link. That's him. Um, uh, you talking about going out and share that link? <laughs> go ahead. Where you get that from? <laughs> yeah. I am so mad. <laughs> I love that. Maybe he said, share that link. <laughs> then there's share another one that she puts a be- that you can put behind her head. I like that. That can actually. Um, let me see if I. Can. It has ankle straps. And you put it um like a it's like an airplane pillow. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then it have the ankle straps. He has oh. to get, at least they're trying to give you comfort. At least they're trying to give you comfort. Make sure you don't get no neck. Comfort. That's yeah. how they say you lay like this, so they this can set your neck up. This is the head part. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> so this part well, is it gives you comfort. <laughs> This okay. Georgia the jungle ass nigga. Look at that yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you put this behind. You put this on the feet. They go with the thing. That takes them back go, to the motherland. Uh, they take them oh, back to the motherland. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so funny because one day our kids came in our room and we're having a movie night. So we keep our that one like tucked underneath behind the foot of the bed because we have a big bed frame. And one of our kids was digging down there trying to find a pillow. And he was like, oh, here's one. I was like, put that shit back. <laughs> 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 
Don't have your head <laughs> cut off. Just a pillow. I was like, don't be digging nowhere. <laughs> So here, take my pillow. <laughs> don't be trying to don't be trying no. to get comfortable in here. And no, in that, in that in that same spirit, we had, we had a long stuff night. all around our room. We and closet, pulled, so. No, literally, we pulled out the wine massager. So the next day, it was a long night. Wake up, all you hear is Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-
you know, the rose. He was like, when I seen the rose, that was my initial thought. I'm like, dang, like this is amazing. But dang, like you gotta compete with that. You got I would want to compete with that. No. Tutorials no. No. These no. no, you embrace you embrace, you embrace those things. You embrace those things. Yeah. Yeah. Those things. I think it's I said are you embrace those things. Simulators or are they in? So are we what, what it does is it simulator clear and up in my... at the same time? What you say? Uh, what'd you say? Don't you we don't use clitoral simulators and penis together? Yeah, we do like I, I, with yeah, with my husband, yeah. But okay. I'm saying like, I'm like there's no competition if you're doing both at the same time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right. But I'm just saying in my free time. So here I am <laughs> on a Tuesday at noon. I'm at home with myself. Don't and I'm just like, oh, let me knock this out real quick. So then when he get home, I'm like, oh, I'm good. You good? You're not, oh, okay. You can't even say knock out anymore because you might really knock out as we just learned. You might <laughs> know yourself. Yeah, it's gonna make you go to sleep. Just say, my dad, I'm dead. Damn it. Don't you remember the three six mafia song, uh, go to sleep hole? <laughs> If you tired, be quiet. Be quiet. Sleep, I go to sleep. That motherfucker gonna knock you out and tell you go to sleep, ho. Roll your shit and go the fuck to sleep, man. Yeah, because I've had my, my partner tell me, it's cool, but that motherfucker make me sleepy afterwards every time. Absolutely. <laughs> I feel like that. She said it make me so, sleepy every so time. So, D, what's your, what's your favorite go-to? Uh, Hello. What'd you say? We all wait. You said me? Yes, you, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> My turn. I zoned out. Goddamn. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't really have a go-to. I don't, I mean, there's some shit that I think I want to try. Um, But I, I don't have a necessarily a go-to. Um, I like, I like when I uh, can stimulate you uh, multiple multiple ways so like if i do go when, we, when, when i'm D inside out. yeah huh <laughs> when we bring little d out you got a motherfucking name little d <laughs> 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 so Little no, D, but just, it, D, made, it, it made me it made me think of that little dude on the Dr Pepper commercial and shit that looked like Prince. Yes, they be popping out that shit. Yes, we do. Don't get loose, we do. Don't get loose, we do. Got a sex toy named Little D. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! god. <laughs> Uh, and that, the name of so the yeah, that nigga. Lush 2 L-U-S-H Lush 2 right now. it's Lush 2 that's the one that you uh, can give someone the link to control your toy it's called the yep. Lush 2 that's what that's was wrong that's the actual then. name of it L-U-S-H 2 they got one for dudes too <laughs> yeah, they, yeah what's the uh, name of it it's the same thing oh See, this is. So it don't echo. So this is what it looks like. I don't see if y'all can see. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is you send, you have to set it up. You have to put it on your phone. And then once it's set up, you can text the link to somebody. And then they hit the link. And it pulls, you know, you they have to download the stuff, but it pulls up on their phone, and then they can they can control it. It it can be controlled to music. You can put on music and have it controlled with the music and all of that. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. <laughs> oh my I don't gosh. Trust him now when I'm in conference calls, because he'll get under the table and mess with me, and and I'll be sitting here doing a presentation like so. Um. <laughs> Just doing this and, and they yeah. had, so that's excited. like with the vibrating like, panties. That's like with vibrating panties. Yeah, yeah. I don't trust him. I, I couldn't give him the code because I would never know when that shock is coming. And I have too many conference calls but, during the day. Next thing I know, 
Like my ass would be sitting here doing You sitting here shaking. <laughs> like, right. wait a second. And then I'm always on screen. Then I have to turn the screen off. They'll be like, hey, we lost you. I'd be like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> I, I got time to be fooling yeah. with him. It's so Hell remote. Yeah. However, but- my favorite sex toy. Um, I like anal stimulation. So I'm I'm all about the anal plug. That's me. I listen, I like wax. I like I like literally I like I like wax dripped on me. I like anal stimulation. Um and I do I, I don't like penetration so much with um I don't like the feel with, of fake dicks. With penises. I, just, I don't like I, I don't, it. I, but I do like them. Like I like I like like if all of my orifices can be filled, I am a happy person. Right. So with that being said, if even if I use it just to to do oral sex while he's doing other stuff to me, like that's my get off. But I like I like anything anal, anything like I like a a good butt plug, um, uh, anal beads. Balls, I like beads. anal beads. Yes, I, I, that's that's my thing. That's my go-to. But what 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 do little D do? <laughs> what do little D do? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> little D vibrates. So like if if I'm if I'm performing oral on on D, then uh, little D little D can do whatever he want with the other two openings. Like <laughs> it's a it's a two for one. Like right. Like. And that's why I'd be like, you got, you got fingers, you got little D, you got you. We covered pretty <laughs> we much. We got a lot going on. That's right. Yeah, we got a lot going on. Hint. 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 That's why. So, it's a that's <laughs> airtight. Many, that's many airtight right ago. there. Yeah. Many, many years ago. Yo. The helicopter, Yo, right? stupid. The helicopter was invented because if you are, sw- if you're upside down as a woman from, from the uh, ceiling, right? You can be satisfied so much easier through all of your orifices if you're hanging upside down. So, like, if your male partner, because this way, if you're like, like, hog tied upside mm-hmm. down, it's easier for him to reach around and stimulate your anus, uh, penetrate you through the vagina, and get it right there. It's like the best position. So, when I say the helicopter, that's what I'm talking about, you know. Upside down, get it done. Swing around, have some fun. Like, right. That's, that's the that's it. Think so. All right, she got a whole little ram and shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? She's spitting bars on your ass. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> I didn't even know she could spit <laughs> bars, nigga. Yeah. Like, where did this shit come from? Oh, where the right. fuck did the bars? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong with me because I tried that in my earlier years and I got a head rush. I thought I was going to pass out. I just never went back to it. It went too deep. But you know what? Yo, for some people, I love her. Yeah, I, yeah, I was well, waiting on her. Uh, that's what it's about. It's about the head rush on top of having the orgasm and all of that. Uh-huh. It's all kind of uh-huh. together. I mean, I like a good, you, you know, you got to die right, about it. Pass out. Right. You got to die about it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did she say I like a good? That's yeah. why your ass had that neck brace on when, when you first came out. <laughs> See, trying to hide, trying to hide the, the fingerprints and shit. He was trying to hide the markings. You see the little head thing with the with the neck. So are we always into a little strangulation? A little choke. Yes, a good choke yes. is good. I like it. A little choke. A little choke is good. Like you get it good. Like oh, just like you feel like trying to choke. God damn me, why you don't, nigga. Don't try to get that shit out while you're fucking and you get a little extra pressure. Do <laughs> yeah, the men like to be choked? Like that too. <laughs> Do the men like to be choked? Right. I'm asking. That's a good uh, motion. See like, that motion right there? You hit that. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, it's almost like woo. jacking dick. It's almost like jacking dick. Yes, you know. My neck that big. <laughs> 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 that's you ain't the, got that big. You ain't got that line. You don't have the line. I don't have um, the line. I, I, <laughs> Yo, Sliz had a question so for the fellas. I'm a, yeah. Do we like do, being choked? Yeah. I can um I don't I don't re, I don't yeah. I I I'd do it. Yeah. <laughs> 
This yeah, nigga like yeah. to buy people up yeah. with poles yeah. and shit. You know he like I'd, uh, I certainly be open. I, I find myself, I don't know what happened, man. I think I hit mid forties, man. I, I mean, I, I kind of like a little, little, little pain. pain in the shit. Like, yeah, I can like do some bite choking. or like a punch. Not like a bite, nigga. I, so, uh, don't be, <laughs> nigga, I nigga, don't be throwing me no haymaker. Nah, I feel nigga. Like she's trying to tell me something um, subliminally. I'm like, I need to my right. punch this girl. No, she's like, give me that she dick. Gonna be on the give next me that dick. She's going to be on the next podcast. <laughs> right. like, yeah. This she nigga didn't already right. came out in the neck brace. Shit, we'd, yeah. we'd expect it. Be like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. He went in again. I, 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 I fucks with a good choking. I, I love that shit myself. Mm-hmm. Like, that's. That shit is yeah, dope I, to me. Yeah, I, I love yeah. that shit. Look you dead in the face and say, "I'm, Give I'm me with that it on dick, that." Nickel. Yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It only happens yeah. in certain I'm, I'm good with that. that. I'm definitely good with that. But that happens when a choke comes, you know. But it's different kind of choke too. Like right. all chokes are not created the same. Like. Fade what do you mean? Fade Fade you got like a where I'm aggressive to you too while you choking me, and then you got the one where you just like, oh, do it, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Determine what mood you. <laughs> Why you take the piss on me, brother? Instead of being the aggressor, yeah. I'm going to be the submissive. I'm just gonna yeah. Choke right. me out so you like, have to decide oh. like who you gonna be. Is this aggressive sex? We're like right. we gonna be aggressive to one another. Like I'm thug too. Right. Ah, I'm thug too. Yeah. Let you, you know, I'm going to play the victim. Now that two, when it's two thugs in the bed. <laughs> Yo, you can't beat that. In the jungle you, making you, love. you can't beat that, man. <laughs> like, That's yeah. what I'm talking when about. She get, when she get into it and, and, and get aggressive, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you know you're getting it right, too. Right. <laughs> you're getting it right. Bring your ass, bitch. Come on. So, so did, has anyone done... The the submissive in the the um the dom has had no it's on my list of things to try. Absolutely. Well, we we know that nigga did. Yeah, he just don't have his cake yet. (laughs) Right. No. So, Uh, were you the submissive or were you the dom? Yes. All right. What? (laughs) Yes. Right. So that's funny. Yeah, that, that's so, yes. that's funny. I'm, I'm gonna let you tell the story. Okay, I have an issue do with it. being submissive because I think because I talk so much shit, I be afraid that a motherfucker gonna try to get some shit out of me. And so I, will. Be like, I be a little leery. I be like, nah, because nigga, I'm telling you, the pistol gonna be in the purse. Here and we go with that. Another soon as pistol. You release the beast and let me lose, nigga. I'm. I, Another I gonna, pistol. I ain't gonna kill you. I might maim you. Uh, and, and, that's two in a row, man. Because motherfuckers be trying to get some shit out. When when the motherfucker got you clunk clunk down where you cannot move, clunk, I mean, clunk. an inch or anything. Yes. And that pole thing that he was talking about, I got a partner. She a little bitty bitch. And her, her her dudes, you know what I'm saying, be fucking around with the pole and stuff. And she had me hollering one day. She said, my bitch, she told me, stand still, don't move. She said, I moved. She said, and I locked up like clink, clink. And she said, I could not move. She said, I was literally paranoid. And she listened. And he, he said, looked at her move. and started laughing and said, I told your ass, don't move. Don't she said, ass. All about trust. She, she All like, I hear oh my is, God. I don't trust. I don't trust who I'm having sex So you know what? I'm going to say that's a good joint. That's a good joint for any woman that always got too much mouth. Viv, you need to try that because that that. will be a man's dream. That That will be your man's dream (laughs) to lock your ass up in that motherfucker because you don't listen and you want to talk too motherfucker much and Mm -hmm. bang that shit out. Just go to pound town, nigga. Y'all going to see my sister leaving a message. Straight to pound town. <laughs> Come on, Viv. Yeah. I know Come I'm on, Viv. Yeah. I would never. I would never. Come so on, Viv. Live, so live, live a little. Live a little, my life. I got to tell you. You would probably enjoy being a sub. Me and Dee did the sub in the dom, right? He came to me and said, hey. You a sub. Huh? I, no, I, he was submissive, and I was the dom. And he, he came to me and said, Ooh, I yeah. want to do this. Yeah, right. So I'm we did it, right? This. And, like, 
he enjoyed it. He enjoyed the punishment. That, My and it was, I shouldn't say it was punishment. <laughs> I said, Pick that shit. Like, <laughs> like I, 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 I was pretty good in my role now. You know, I was a, you know, I'm a theater major and shit yeah. my whole life. So I, you know, I just did what I did. And um I was I was very impressed with the limits that he was willing to go and to, to I guess to trust me enough to do what we did. And I thought that was cool because even after, even after the fact, I was like, I was like, are you okay? And he was like, uh, yeah. I kinda, yeah what I, you do I, to I, the yeah, nigga? Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. fucked him up too. Like, I kind of, No, like no, shit. but. Right. When you, when you, when she, you, yo, let me jump in this motherfucker. <laughs> Please, oh, yo, I got to jump in this yourself. motherfucker now, man. Because she's trying to make it seem like she was beating yeah, my ass and girl, shit. Outfit, no. no, that shit. No, man. That yeah, see, it. she. That I knew, I knew she. I see. That's why I hate when she tells stories. <laughs> All right, so. But, no, so yeah, I came to her. I was like, you know what? I want to. I want to kind of try that. Like. You know, just to see, because I was, you know, a little curious, like, fuck, you know, whatever. Uh, and see where I did, I did enjoy it, but it wasn't like we didn't have whips and shit, because like, this is my first time doing anything. I'm like, yo, nigga, I'm like, if I say motherfucking, well, I don't even know what the word was. Banana. It was funny as hell. Like, I just banana. Pineapple that banana. <laughs> it was funny because we had a whole conversation leading up into this shit, but no, it was just one of those... um things where I had to do what she told me to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. One of them was shut the fuck up. And I kept yes. talking and, and she, she did like kind of hit too? me. No, shut the yeah. fuck up. Yeah, she said, you bet not fucking talk to me and you bet not fucking touch me. Oh, I, was, I was like, okay. <laughs> Yo, nah, nah, I was, uh, so listen, I did. Let me, uh, let me say something else though. I said, you need to go in the room and assume the submissive position, and I'll be in there. And I told him what he had to look, have. Look, I even on. like I I'll, I'll be in there. Look, yeah, I said I, I said oh, I right. told him what he needed to have on, and don't you like you got the blindfold on? You don't do anything. You just wait for me to come in there. And I let him sit there for like five ten minutes before I walked in. To make sure he was mentally prepared for what was going to happen because he needed to trust me. That was like torture. Right. And he came in and he he wanted to talk like, what the hell took you so long? I was like, you're the submissive right now. You can't talk to me. You don't right. talk until I tell you to, to talk. So you need to shut the fuck up. All right. Ah! And I said, and if you don't, like these are the consequences. And, you know, a couple of times he said something in the middle of doing something. And I was like, and I did. I got. I, I had the belt. I had my belt, and I, I slapped him on the ass. And he was like, "Whoa!" And I was like, <laughs> "You still talking? You got, I yes. stop fucking talking to me with your ass." Yes. And I said, "We can use the belt to either yes. help uh, tie you up like in a different it. position, or you can take it to the ass. It's up to you. But you're gonna shut up and you're gonna do what I ask you to do. Like this. This is the role of being a submissive. And yeah, I thought it was a good night. I yeah, of course your ass did. Night. So <laughs> yeah, I felt like uh y'all remember that series Spartacus? Uh-huh. Be right back, family. I'll I was right like <laughs> I was like, yes, Dominus. <laughs> that shit was that shit was weird as fuck. It was weird as fuck. But did you enjoy it? <laughs> but like it was fun. You it multiple I d- times? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did no, it again. I, I tried again. For sure. Coming for the next time mm-hmm. we're gonna do that. I ain't that know was, about the box. Like, um I'm well, just finding out about this like, box. Well, I don't I even know what's in it. Props. She's scaring right. me now. I need props. Yes. yes. What time you you need? I had boots on. You were telling us about girl. Oh no, I had the boots on. No, T, because there's there's a leather bodysuit. There was uh, there was stuff. You did like, your I was halfway there. there. You I got no cape. Woman. I got no cape like what? I was halfway there, but I was just like, oh, so I was like, this nigga ready, ready. Okay, I gotta get a, I gotta get a new whip. <laughs> 
Because, you know, if you don't use the whip for so long, it's in a plastic bag, it, it shrivel up. Like, so you got to get, I was like, we need new products. We ain't, we ain't doing no whip. You got, and you got to oil like, it. You have to oil, you know, with leather and stuff like that. You ain't going to be ripping me like no oil slave it and, and shit. It moist and stuff or it will. It will flake. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's it happening, like, D. It's happening. Don't let no talk. Shit. Oh, it sound like it, don't it? He's it's like, it kind of sound like it, don't it? Yeah, I dog. Like when he called me, you're gonna be walking around with the short rope. shredded up at the this bottom rope. of him and shit. <laughs> like, I wanna just try roll that. with it, man. Roll with this it. This motherfucker. I, do wanna try that. I like it when you call me Dominus. I do. <laughs> <laughs> control freak ass. <laughs> he was like you're such a control freak. But then I did. I said, "Hey, do you want? I could be the sub." I said, "I'm perfectly fine with that." I was like, "I I would appreciate you dominating like in this way, seriously over me." He was like, "No." He was like, you see what? right where you at. No, because the fuck is wrong with you? So I was like, okay. <laughs> I keep playing the role. Because that's something I wanted to try. I wanted to try that piece of it. Cause I'm always more dominant when we have sex for like 20 some years, bro. So I was like, nah, I don't I know what domination kind of is, man. I don't need to. I'm straight. Let me you ease my way into this like shit, man. Like, I just oh, ain't oh, look, yeah. nigga. I got, oh, you got the ease in this shit, nigga. My bad, man. I ain't like you. You the one that just be like, all right, shit, 100 miles. Nah, nigga, we gonna ease. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shit, I'm old, nigga. That's where we do different. That's where we've always differed. Yeah, we gonna ease that shit. Hey, did, did you put on the dog collar? Be no. I didn't I didn't put no, the dog I ain't got collar one of them. on them yet. I got a dog collar man. that say bitch that I wear. Yes. <laughs> Why is that not surprising, though? Why is that <laughs> you probably got a chain for her to latch and walk your ass on our fours around the room and everything. You damn yeah, right, dude. I, 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 I That don't really right. surprise me either. Yeah. Yeah, it really didn't surprise that's what me. You bump heads. See, niggas Do like you. Really? That's why I would never let a motherfucker chain me down. Do you no. really, Sliss? No. <laughs> What you mean? You got the chain. The, you got the the chain. collar, the collar in the in the dog leash is for me. I know, mm-hmm. but no, because that's one of them. I'm gonna get you back, bitch. I'm gonna get you back, bitch. Type no, it's thing. not. <laughs> no, it's not. That might get you some McDonald's, <laughs> something like that. That nigga said some McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Where Nadine go? I came with this nigga. She uh, says she had to bounce. She says she'll be back. Oh, I missed her. So. Margo, you're quiet. What about you? What, Wait, what? What do you want to try? Is, is there anything you want to try? <laughs> yeah, she's the baby. Okay. <clears throat> Any of this yeah, interest in you? Um, <laughs> I've seen you like, grab your pad a couple times. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm you not just had a baby boo, so come on home. <laughs> And I have, because although I am the like the younger one, I think well, shit, we've been together since I was like 17 and I'm 32. And we've been married for like six years. So we do, you know what I mean, have to get creative. But I'm just not as I think like, see what I think y'all, I think y'all love, like, love, love, like sex and experience and all of this kind of stuff. I'm like more of a uh, like let's put some time in between so when we come back it's full force. Like I'm like very like y'all are like making me look really really closed off and I'm not as closed off. But y'all no. are like on a whole different level. <laughs> like, no you know what that I'm is not. too? You know what that is too? Because right. um, I think we were like that when the kids were younger. Mm-hmm. And, and I I say that's because sometimes you're you we're in mom mode. That's what mm-hmm. that's what I used to call it. Like I'm in mom mode. Like yeah, get get at me. You know we had sex on Sunday, so get at me on Thursday because then you'll miss me enough that when we do have it, like I'll be on E, I'll be on F again instead of E, and so will mm-hmm. you because life happens and and we're you know we keep going. So that's what I attributed that to. So I've been in your shoes before, yeah. but I'm going to tell you, the minute the kids got older, that's when we it kind of... Listen, the, uh, our youngest literally, literally used to think me and D fought every day, right? He was like, y'all always in the room fighting. And he would tell people, they fight 
all the time. And we would be like, stop telling people we fight. We, Me and your dad do not fight like you know, that. We, we fight Where do you it. get this from? So then the oldest was like, because y'all always be in the room. And y'all, it sounds like y'all be throwing each other up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was like, all we hear is noise coming out. And he, he said one day he was going to go in there and, and be like, what's going on? Why don't you shut up? He was like, hey, hey, hey. If the door is closed, they in there wrestling. Let them wrestle, but you don't go into a closed door. So so his whole little life, this boy thought mom and dad fought every day. And we were, I was like, we didn't fight every, we never fought. Right, Not so what are you talking you. about? In, in the two oh fights, we, wasn't nobody else around. I said, this little nigga thought when we was having sex, and so, and I say that because as he got older, he still thought, y'all in there, y'all always fucking fighting. What y'all fighting for? And I was Poor like, Mayor, Mayor. we having sex. Be fighting go for brother, Oregon. Go ask your brother again to explain. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> so we had to have those conversations. So it'll happen. It, you'll get it back. You know what? I do have something that he wants to do. It's like Uh-oh. what all men want to do. But I'm not as opposed to it, I'm just not 100% in it. We talking threesomes? Yeah, but the thing is, I'm all about making sure that you're pleased, because I am a pleaser. So, when you leave, you're going to be pleased, you know what I mean? But I don't want to start something that, and I'm not worried about the cliche shit. Oh, what if he, uh, I'm not worried about none of that. But I just mean... I don't want to be halfway into something and give you a piss poor time. Like you like he can't relax or whatever it is. I just don't want to start that and I can't finish it. So I guess that's what you do it if you're not a hundred percent into it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. And that's why it hasn't happened. But have you guys tried like role play things? I know uh, me and Devin's go to like, if we don't bring a toy into it, I have uh, snuck out of the garage once or twice and like showed up at the front door with like a jacket and something interesting underneath. And he's just like, who the fuck is at the door? Because he thought I just went to the bathroom. (laughs) Meanwhile, I didn't left the whole house. And then when he opens the door, it's like, like, hell yeah. So you still created that same (laughs) excitement and stimulation, but you didn't use anything other than yourself. And so you don't have to be like, what if the toy doesn't work or whatever? It's you. Mm-hmm. And we're already in the you, so. Or meeting at a bar. Duly noted. You know, do do the stranger thing where you're sitting at a bar, maybe wear a wig or something, change your hair or something That's like funny. that. And, 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 and he, you know, you come separately or whatever, or he drop you off, you go in for a few minutes and then he come in or whatever and, and do those types of things. Those types of dates are very thrilling. And and mm-hmm. and very and fun because you're not you you're playing someone else so mm-hmm. you know and and you have to ride it out until the end but the end. you know being someone else is a lot of fun too. We text each other. I will like text, make up a whole other name. It's still listed under my phone number. Yeah, but text under a whole other name and like we'll just have like stranger exchanges all day and then it's just like. When we finally get the opportunity to have sex, we've been dealing with the kids all day. It's still exciting too. Mm-hmm. And how so long have the, the been devices? Been mm-hmm. But also, but also, you guys have been married for six years. Yeah. So, like, it's it's. it's and how old are you? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. So, like, I think we didn't like our early twenties. I mean. You know, when you when you're first married, like it's you figure like this is what sex, this is what it's supposed to be like, and then you kind of just find your own way. And so I, it sounds like you're in the you, you're in the process of finding your own way, figuring so, out what you yeah, figuring out exactly, figuring out exactly like no, I don't like that, so I don't want to worry about this. I'm interested in this. I do like this, and so you're in that. And you know, more and more when you continuously down that road, you would know more and more of things that you know that, all right, I can be 100% into this because it excites me. Mm-hmm. Duly noted. And then there, 
and then there's also toys like you know there's 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 um you know stand up dicks that you can you know why you can be on that while giving him pleasure and things like that so like you can almost build the that three oh, environment I get, it. I get it yeah yeah you know what i mean you can almost build that environment yourself and you know start there because i always feel like there's there's always a starting point but if you start at 100 it's like, can you maintain a hundred all the time? And if you can't, you didn't already set yourself up to be like a failure. Yeah. And nigga, you know that's why I how, easy. How tall is that stand up dick though? That's got to be I like mean, a three foot dick. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 you mount them to the wall, nigga. You mount them to the oh, wall. Oh, so you got ones that mount to the wall. You got ones that you could just put on the bed. I mean, there's yeah. different type of ones that you got. Oh, okay. You said stand up, though. So that's that's what I was thinking. I was like, Jesus, man, that's, you that's think like, it was as tall as you. They got <laughs> some that look like a seat. <laughs> you walking in there like you want me or stand in. <laughs> like, so oh this my dick. God. It's a hell of a dick. <laughs> so what I was starting to say was um I had uh or I have a bag full of wigs, colored wigs. Mm-hmm. That I used to do that, Rainisha. I used to send him outside and tell him to come back because like I need a service guy. And he would just uh. come back and be the service guy. Or my favorite person, <laughs> I would say, I don't want to sleep with my husband tonight. I want to sleep with my boyfriend. Mm, I, I have people that Because there's I a difference. Who there's a difference. Mm. And, you know, I'd be like, or I would pick him up. So especially right now, since we've been in quarantine, we've named certain pl- parts of the house, right? So, you know, the dining room is the cafe. And we met in the cafe. And he tried to pick me up. And I was like, so, you know, why don't you swing through later on tonight? And then Damn right. he'll come through. <laughs> and I still got it. The dude I picked up in the cafe. Mm-hmm. So, and I'd be like, you know, we do the whole role play. Again, I was a theater major my whole life. So I, I fall into character quick. But yeah, so he, you know, and, and there's just times where I'll be like, um, sometimes I don't want to be me. Sometimes I want to be a redhead. So I put mm-hmm. the redhead wig on and, and it... You know, it is what it is. And he'll be like, oh, so, you know, and I, and literally I'll, I'll try to pick him up in the house and he'll be like, so I'm, you know, I'm married. And I'll be like, okay, what that got to do with me and <laughs> oh, you right now? She right. I like those conversations. <laughs> 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 so, mm, all about the costume and the role play. Yes. You got to find ways to continue to, you know, mm-hmm. keep it interesting. Mm-hmm. Eat that spicy spice spice. Is there a toy? Um, I lost my question. I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it! She think about that choking. She think about. She still think about being choked. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, is I mean, there something that like anybody wants to try that they're like too scared to try? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, other I other have than not tried the part is, is being tied being tied down. You scared to be tied down? Yeah, because like I said, I talk too much shit. So she a control freak. Anybody gonna be too loud? I am. Yeah, that's all that hey, is. She a control I freak. That. I am. I'm a total control freak when it comes to certain things. I mean, like I can be submissive if I want to. Right. I can, but I choose not to. I choose not to. It's gonna be the time yeah. of your life. It probably will. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker gonna crack my back for me. Probably will break me all the way off. But until yeah. I find that man, no, nigga. Right. No. Right. That's, fair. That's, That's fair. That's fair. I tie his ass up. That's fair. Okay, one of those ceiling swings, and you like be swinging all around. But I'm scared it's not gonna hold us. Yeah, I was gonna say that it's gonna come down. <laughs> yeah, gotta anchor that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> the stripper pole you buy to link up in you the ceiling. Gotta anchor that motherfucker. I'm gonna be like that. I'm gonna try that shit. They hit the floor. Them in the pole. Yeah, gotta anchor that motherfucker. Devin, like, Devin, go to go to Home Depot and get you one of them stud yeah. finders. But who's yeah, gonna, run, do run, 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 gonna do when our kids wanna come in our room? Just, <laughs> tell them no. They How about that? Come in our room? It don't work like that. Do you have? No, no, no. I mean, I mean, you you, you put it up there and then you, and then you take it down. 
It, it ain't got to stay there. They do have it where you ain't going to let the guy. Nah, See, just, we gotta, if we do just that, leave we got to get a place there. where we can have a room that's designated I do for want nothing a room. but... You want a dungeon. That's you want some Christian yeah. shit. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck yeah. I'm talking about? You I'm want talking about some of that. You already know it's going to happen. Meet right. the groom. Right. <laughs> like, ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Spiders all in the corner. You're going to have to keep putting your mute on because your audio is through Go mine. to the room, assume the position. The echo was there because of your computer joints. Right. Um, so a long, long time ago, like when I was explaining before, when I used to do the strip club parties. Right. I did contemplate having a sex club. <laughs> I did. did you I the one like, in New York get get um what was that new uh Thanksgiving? They arrested nine. I think they said sixty people. It's a, a big. It's a top sex club in New York, and they um uh, they have been advertising and advertising. I'm in this swingers group or whatever, and they were Proud advertising it and advertising and advertising it. They said I seen the New it's York gonna... Times did an article where they had ran up in there and arrested <clears> sixty. <throat> They were like, they were not practicing social distancing. They were showing pictures in there where it was like beds lined up around the wall and how um, the people, they were like, there were people all on the beds and they weren't social distancing and they was just going on and on about that. So they were social, my social distance. My nice. vision for a sex club was different. Like it wasn't necessarily having everybody having sex. Like we just not gonna right. be monkey in it and, and rabbit in it against the wall in beds. I thought it would be cool if you could actually show some of these toys being used on someone. Mm. So like you could walk into one room and they might be doing your thing, uh, Viv with the rose. And then you could see how it stimulates somebody. And then you could then pick up that rose, like get your box, buy your box, and then go to a room and and do what you want to do. But I thought it'd be cool for visuals. Right. And to give you that visual stimulation so that you're prepared. Like, so if, if you and someone, like, so if me and D was like just starting to get involved with each other and we... We wanted to take our relationship sexually to the next level. We could go to this place and like have a safe haven to like see what mm. what the toys and everything, how how to use it before we actually purchased it. That and like have drinks, be engaged, you know, whatever happens, happens, but it would be a safe zone. That's the well, type of place I was thinking. Well, from what I understand, this place has a bar. And it's set, it has rooms, you know, it's set up where you can go and watch people do have sex in many different ways. They're like different rooms Mm -hmm. where you can go, but they also have a room with just beds lined up against the wall. You know, they said that, you know, it's a place that it's like that, you know, you can go and watch other people have sex, but they have different things. They have like a bondage room and different rooms like that. And they do have people in there having sex and doing these things. I don't think they necessarily sell sex toys. You probably got to bring your own toys and stuff, Mm -hmm. but they do, you know, have demonstrations going on in the different rooms and stuff. And you can observe. See, I'm all about like I enjoy watching. Like if we was driving I'm a voyeur too. and it was voyeur. a couple getting it on and in the park, I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down just to be like, what, 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 what they doing? Yeah, I'm nosy. You a nosy like, I, motherfucker. I'm, I'm, nosy. All about, I'm all about seeing like you, you it, it don't matter. Like I can I there's like certain there's like a room that they says in Vegas where like the green uh, room. The green room. Um, where you can go and like see other people or like there's like one half for spectators and then another room for people who want to do um, swinging type of stuff. But I'm like, I would love to be in the spectator room because I just want to see people having sex and enjoying it. Like, I don't want to see like, you know, porn is just different. Like, it's just uh, it like is. enjoying that. Like, God damn, she crying. Like, they, you, you can't enjoy it. <laughs> Mascara coming down and shit, and she don't look. She trying to push him off, but it's, they can't do it. I'm all like, yeah, no, nah, man, she ain't enjoying that. But someone that's enjoying it, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> there go my something. That's okay. probably my something. I'm definitely oh, yeah. inquisitive. Like, wait, wait, what? 
oh, oh, okay. I think that does heighten things. There you go. Thanks. You a freak on the low. <laughs> go ahead with yourself. <laughs> 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 I would say all of that. But okay. yeah, you definitely you gotta pull it out. <laughs> you gotta pull it out of me for sure. Yeah, yeah. That sometimes that's all it take, you know. The right um, one. That's that's all it takes is, is is somebody that mm-hmm. can bring that out of you. Somebody brought it out of me. Why Thank you, Bernadette. You know I gotta beat that out. You know I gotta beat that out, right? Huh? You know I gotta beep that out. I feel like you gotta put her picture up. Oh no. that, this this was many, many this was many, many years ago. That's she was no. she was no. he was 31, I was 19. And oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Bang, bang, yeah. bang. Yeah. 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 You got the collar with bitch and everything. She whipped your ass in shape. You didn't have yeah, yeah. You got yells under your belt, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, like that. She, she, she put she put me on, Devin. Like she put me on for real. And uh like she tried to have a normal conversation with me, but I'm 19 years old. So she asked me, like, how was your day? And I started talking about, man, I lost to Melodious and Madden a day or some shit. So then after about two weeks of that, she was like, you know yeah. what? You can't even yeah, shut your dumb ass up and let me show you how to do this. And yeah, she 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 opened a nigga up for real. So and that's, that's the what last did it. day you played Madden with D. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> changed my life. I'm man. done with yeah. video games. Madden changed his life. Man. <laughs> what you thinking, Melodious? He I thought You're he trying was... to remember who burned the dead was. Mm-hmm. I ain't yeah. telling him about her. I ain't telling him about her because I wasn't supposed to be doing none of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's he why he looking like, like damn, who is burned? That's why he got that. Who is burned the dead look on his face? Yeah, yeah. He probably, yeah. He's probably like, shit. She didn't have a friend because she could have whipped me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't included. Have to try. Yeah, you so could have included me in on it. You're like, I like Matt and right. too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry if that's what you're thinking. I'm sorry. I mean, we all have secrets. Dirty motherfucker. <laughs> so, what do you say to anybody who's scared to for about sex toys and being adventurous in a relationship? Because I still see people scared to go into the sex store. Like, I parked a car and go right in. I'm like, what the hell, y'all? Like looking around, and seeing who has the front. lights for. Just so y'all know, I'm not that person. But the I think I'm that person, but I'm not that person. Uh-uh. I think it's a safe in. space, lady. You but must not have been here in a while. Open, but we, 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 we don't shop, think that. So I don't think you have a problem. <laughs> yeah, going like to I the think you're good. Store. You're good. You're I don't good. think so. I don't think so, boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we but, don't think you. We don't think you. Okay, like that. We don't just a little bit of credit. Just a little bit. When it comes to sex stores, like I, I think it all depends on which ones you go to. Because the ones that we've been to in Vegas, it's like a double, it's a two story, it's like a double a, decker. Yeah, <laughs> like the Walgreens, they got two story Walgreens. <laughs> We're talking about fucking. You talking about six stairs? You talking about what? You got to go shopping? No, but I'm just yeah. saying in general. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're yeah. talking yeah. about like my head, like. Like, oh, I gotta go get some milk. That Walgreens. No, Walgreens is milk. Milk. If you don't shut your ass Walgreens up Walgreens with this Walgreens, Vivian. Walgreens will get you right, bro. Walgreens get you right, bro. <laughs> like, two they, got story the they got three <laughs> story ones. They got three stories. They got a three one. They got a couple <laughs> things you might need to get your day popping. So, you know. Right. The they sell liquor like... and they Walgreens. They Walgreens Vivian. got big bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Vivian, we done with Walgreens. We we done with Walgreens. Damn it! I think it all comes down to trust. Like people who I think I wasn't even done. Oh, oh, we sorry. We sorry. Go ahead. But when it comes to sex stores, but yeah. (laughs) (laughs) When it comes to sex stores, I think it all depends on like which ones you go to. Because like, there's ones that's like in your city that they just. It just don't look right. Hey, Ryan, right. Those ones you're right. like, I ain't trying to get caught in that one. But the ones that actually look nice, like those are the ones that I feel like you can go into. And I, I enjoy 
the workers that work there that know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. That makes the sex store that much better because then it's like, hey, I'm looking for this. And they're like, no, you know, you don't want this kind of, you want this kind and things like that. So I think that's awesome. Um, but also I think it has to do with your level of comfortableness. Because if you're not really comfortable, is that, is that what you was about to say? Thank you. <laughs> was that what you was about to say? Yeah, it was about to say. So I'm about to throw it over to her. <laughs> For you get in trouble for thinking. Right. My bad. My bad for having us. Yes. My bad. Let me go. Wow. Look at your ass like nigga. He gonna get whipped and changed for that. Somebody Dude, getting wait. choked. Somebody getting choked. <laughs> and it's probably gonna be you. It's probably gonna be you. He's gonna get strapped up. It's probably gonna be you. Nigga, she gonna pull that rope from under the bed. All you gonna see is that motherfucker slinking out slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to see you. I'm sorry, baby. Please, no. No. By the end of the I podcast, it's gonna be down to trust. <laughs> say that. Say that. Say that. She gonna be Stuff sitting there. You gonna see now, him slide like, a little bit like this. Better. Like, why that nigga sliding down? She gonna have his legs roped already up. <laughs> about to get roped up in five minutes. Say that. But I think it comes down to trust because I know stuff that like use now, I would have never used like in the earlier years. Not only did I not know my body and what I liked, I didn't. I didn't trust him enough. Like I thought that he would think some type of way about me. Like, oh, he might think I might have been a hoe or something. Let me just <laughs> now give him something new every ten years. And then I got to a point where I was just like, <laughs> don't give a fuck. Like I'm not gonna have boring sex forever. Not that it was. It, mm -hmm. That was a bad. That was a bad. We understand what you're saying. That was amazing. I don't want to have the same kind of sex. Yeah, I think she need to clarify herself. I'm you know. scared to say stuff. He might want to say stuff. So one day, I think I just pulled like I'm the more vocal one, and so I was just like, "What would you say if I tied you down? If I bit you? If I did this?" And so now, like, it's just whatever. If I bite you, you know what kind of sex is about to pop off. I don't think you've ever asked me, "Do I like to be bitten?" You've always said the point. I've always, I've always this enjoyed the <laughs> uh, Empire is. Chanel issues and then she bit me. He ain't this never told me to stop. She bit me. Now you ever been bitten unexpectedly? I know, I know you ain't talking this Walgreens. This ain't, this ain't the <laughs> podcast of Walgreens either. <laughs> The day he tells me you can get stuff from Walgreens, think. you can get little right. and different things from Walgreens. I take the different. Are we there? You can get massages. No, from I just so I wanted to kind of answer AA's question too. I think a lot of people are afraid to go to him because it's it's still a taboo subject, especially mm -hmm. I think in our community. You know, black folks, we, a lot of us are raised in the church and we don't really talk about sex in our households with our parents or our kids or, you know, kind of even in most environments, really, you know, it's just not one of those things that we tend to openly discuss. Um, so, you know, that's why we kind of have the term like closet freak or all this other stuff. You know, because it's still taboo. Shit, a freak is a freak. You ain't got to be closeted about it. It's every, everybody got a little bit of freakiness, but it's just still, you know, when when um, general society, I guess, still is not kind of open and accepting with it. I think that kind of affects our actions sometimes, you know, with people who still care what other people may think. And I, I, I think that's probably the biggest sex. issue. Yeah. Yeah. Or just yeah. sneaking into the sex store to get what they need. Mm -hmm. You know, now I can't understand Devin not going into the truck stop joints. You know, <laughs> that's probably not where you want to get your shit from. But yeah, I, my I don't shit have a problem like, with My up. sex store looked like a liquor store. That shit is hood. <laughs> I think they look like a liquor store. <laughs> I think I got a question. Yeah. So... Do you think or do you guys think there's a difference in it being a sex store being black owned versus the, um, I don't know, chain sex stores? Like, do you 
feel like there's um am I making sense? Do you know what I'm asking? Are you asking is there a difference in quality? Support black business. It's just Are you even... supporting black business. You know, they pretty much sell the same things. It's just support support the black business, you know, black commerce. So, Marco, I, Margo, I think of it this way. It's the same way people view urban literature, right? They they say it's not as good as because it, we go. you know, it's it's by us. However, <laughs> it's the same product. It my, my my hood story is the same as your your romance novel at the end. They but they right boy trash, met girl, they it. fucked, they fell in love. He was either married, she was either married, whatever the case, the storyline is the same. The products are the same. It, it's all about packaging. And and I think for our community, the one thing that we we have to understand is, is anytime you have a business like this, you have to step up your game mm -hmm. because the connotation is it's gonna be the the, the, it's the not truck be stop good. type business, mm -hmm. and it really isn't. So you do have to put a little bit more effort into marketing so that you can mm -hmm. look like a welcoming. Uh, business establishment that people would want to come in to be educated on, you know, sex toys and, and stimulation and, you know, things that will enhance a, a, your, your sexual relationship. That's part of, that's just part of business 101. Now, if, if they choose not to do all that, they're putting themselves at a disadvantage because one, it's easier to shop online now. But two, your, your competitor, they got neon lights and shit. They got girls walking around in lingerie that don't look like they just got, you know, beat up or drugged or whatever. Like, it's, it's together, I guess is what I'm saying. So if we want to compete with that type of that type of uh, business, we got it. We have to up our game the same way we would do as authors. You know, we want to put out a professional looking book. We 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 go to extra mile. So even in that in that setting, especially in this industry, because it gets such a bad rap. Mm -hmm. Like if you either good or you're not. And truth be told, they all they all have the same products. Mm -hmm. So how come we can't as black people compete on that level? It's about the packaging. We got to step up our marketing. Right. Y'all making me feel bad because I don't <laughs> give a fuck. Like whoever whoever fucking like. There's something wrong with me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Whoever fucking, that's where I'm going. He said something wrong with me. The look around though. He was, is something wrong with me? <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 listening though, and I'm like, man, she care about packaging. Like that's that's important. Whoever fucking the best. That's where I'm going. See, well, but you know, it's just see these 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 are like our toys. These are these yeah, Bernadette. Our toys. Our is it Bernadette? Toys. If it's not acting it's correctly, it I, why would I be attracted to it? It's the same thing as a little kid. I want, right. I want that dial, doll, or I want that Barbie, or I want those pair of shoes because they they dressed up in a shiny ass box with a bow on it. Mm. If I go pick out like my dirt diggler, that shit better be packaged just right. Better be shiny and say, you know, come look at me, come touch and feel. Yes, I want to mm -hmm. do all of that. If the packaging isn't right, I'm I'm gonna be like, what the fuck is that? I don't want to. Right. Why does it? Why is it in a brown paper bag? Um, right. I don't. I don't was it used? I want the shiny shit. Same right. thing applies with 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 the sex toys. I I want something that looks like it's gonna be exciting, and and it's it's new and 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 get me riled up so I'm ready to go. I don't want some shit. That looked like it got dust on it, and I'm gonna have to go home and, and disinfect it Wash before it. I use it. <laughs> All right, right. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Do y'all so, wash your oh, toys? Huh? Do y'all wash your toys before you use them the first time? Like when you? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure I wasn't weird. No, because they got that. They got no. protective coating. Oh, no, where the fuck so. that been before? You know. You ain't know when Lupe washed her hands before she packaged that motherfucker. Oh, okay. I didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> she gave the person the name. Lupe. My son, my son's my son's mother, she put them joints in the dishwasher. Yeah. That they make them if if it's made of silicone. Yeah. That's yeah. the best way to sanitize it. But yeah. I mean, you don't you don't necessarily want to tell the kids to go put up the dishes. Yeah, they they go empty that dishwasher. Food. Oh, Dad, well, yeah. Is in the dishwasher. Where, like, where does it go? Uh, 
Well, I take care of the dishwasher, so that's <laughs> you ain't gotta wash dishes for a week, man. You good. Daddy good, goes. man. <laughs> so I ain't gonna ask any more last thoughts around sex and toys and relationships? I love it. I love it. Sex, toys, and relationships. Okay. There you go. I, I love, love it. it. Love it. Don't be, a, don't be afraid to try new things. Yeah, they do go it. hand in hand, and and instant they go hand in hand. So you gonna get that? You, you gonna get that? Oh, I got other shit, but no, no, no. <laughs> but I ain't that the kid. No, no, no. Hey, again, I'm gonna put the link to the um the all black uh, or the black owned um sex toy shop um with the video on our face uh, Facebook page. And on our website, because again, we got to support our own, but I think we need to continue the conversation and the fact that we're stepping into that kind of an industry where we, black owned businesses, we're everywhere. Why can't we start having more open conversations about sex? So I thank everyone for joining us tonight. I definitely will not look at any of you differently. Um, <laughs> cause, cause Hey, this is what we do in the Urban Green Room. So I'm your girl, AA. Yo, I'm your nigga, D. Lewis. And we have had a great conversation tonight. And with that, we are out. <laughs> Peace. Thank you for tuning into the Urban Green Room podcast. Let's keep the conversation going. Hit us up at urbangreenroom.net or on our Facebook or IG page. I always follow them. Tell us what you think about today's conversation. If there's a topic you want to discuss, let us know. And by all means, tell a friend. The Urban Green Room podcast, giving you something to talk about. Until next time, we out.